requests to include the sum of 496,374,470 US dollars in the 2018 appropriation bill. In a letter to the National Assembly, the president had requested that the $496 million expended on the Tucano helicopters be included in the 2018 appropriation bill currently before the National Assembly. Mohamed Mungunu moves a motion agreeing with the president's request. This causes a division among lawmakers. And now this one is not a bill and we are urging ourselves to ask the executive to allow us initiate a bill and put it in a bill process that is going on. This matter ought to be thrown away. There is no provision therein wherein a bill has been committed to a committee and the bill is under consideration. It should have come as a bill anyway. If, if, if it's a money bill, then it's as a money bill. But you're bringing it as a motion for us to decide. And I mean, let's not do the wrong things and set a precedent here. But don't forget that the 2018 Appropriation Act is being worked upon. And so as long as it has not been approved, there is no way you can come by another bill. Lawyers among the lawmakers are called in to dissect the matter as it is clear that the money has already been spent and should not be allowed into the 2018 budget. The process is unconstitutional. It goes against democracy and it goes against every principle of law. My ruling would be to still refer this matter to the Committee on Rules and Business to check the archives of the House or other parliaments elsewhere to see whether there's any precedent that we can ground this communication on. In the Red Chamber, the chairman of the Senate committee maintains that President Buhari's anticipatory approval for the purchase of 12 Tucano jet fighters violates the Constitution, therefore calling for a strict sanction against the president. Mr. President, my motion goes further to explain a very naughty uh, 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 supposition that has been made or that has been bandied around this expenditure. The, the Senate is not unmindful of the fact that the, the, the objective of this expenditure is very well established, but the procedure for this expenditure is wrong. There ought to have been appropriation before this money was spent. And of course, Mr. President, whereas the Committee on Appropriation too, of which I'm a member, was mandated to call the Minister of Defense to explain what happened, what happened about this expenditure. He agreed to, before the committee, that this, it was particularly wrong that they had to pay for this money, even though they had ample time to submit a supplementary budget to the Senate for approval. They refused to do so. So, oh, Mr. President, the Senate hereby I mean, uh, uh, further notes that there are serious consequences for violation of our Constitution. Now, this is we are, we are between agreeing to performing a function that the President has done on behalf of this country which is quite objective, but at the same time a violation which of course is our constitution that we have all sworn to uphold. So Mr. President, as a consequence, the only thing that we can draw from on this is that we call on you, Mr. President, to evoke sessions 143 of this constitution. The Constitution Senator Gide wants the Senate to invoke deals with the impeachment of the President. It's not uh, the first time this thing has happened, Mr. President. This thing has started a long time ago. When the service chiefs were brought here, they were appointed and they given the offices and they were assumed their offices. When the, 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 the FIRS uh, 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 chairman was appointed, he was appointed and assumed office without recourse to this National Assembly. And several other such constitutional breaches that are here before uh, that are flying in the face of this National Assembly. And in this one again, our president, and even the, the, the funny aspect of this thing is that it's going to be this uh, Tokano that is going to be a supply helicopter. It is in 2020. It, it is a, it, not just this year, not in 2018, not 2019, 2020. 
And this is what we are doing here. As expected, lawmakers from the ruling APC oppose the call for the impeachment of the president. I do not think we should impeach the president, but we should demand that the money be returned to follow due process to the end. As far as I'm concerned, this is the first time that expenditure of this kind, money that was withdrawn from uh, excess crude account, was is being discussed in this national assembly. Yeah. This is a PDP conspiracy, for you to flow. Yeah. Mr. President. And I would like PDP to come out today to tell us which of their governors have taken the money released on excess crude account to, to the states who are taking the state assembly for approval. Between September and February, with all due respect, there were ample time for the executive to have carried us along on this issue. The suggestion of the, of the leader that let us send it to judiciary to advise one whether truly, from those who are not laymen, whether the constitution has been breached, two, the circumstances surrounding that, whether it does in any way justify that, they will, they will advise us. Mr. Libera Soshoma, a legal practitioner, quoting from Section 80, Subsection 2, and other sections of the 1999 Constitution, maintains that there is no law backing the President to spend any public money without appropriation by the National Assembly. Um, as far as I can remember, there is no law. Uh, there is no law in Nigeria that empowers the President to spend money without appropriation. Even section 82 that says he can so spend pending approval also give a proviso to that effect that you can spend but it must be in the appropriation and it must not exceed 50% of what was appropriated for the same item in the previous budget. And then if you also read it in consonance with section 80 of the Constitution, it says that you know, the National Assembly must approve of all of that. And then if you look at section 162, sub 10 also, it said every money, every money collected by the Federation shall not be spent without the approval of the National Assembly. And, and, and so there is, a, to answer your question directly, there is no such law. And if you permit me, if you permit me quickly, um, so that uh, for lack of time, I would quickly broach through first and foremost section 80. If you look at it, it said all revenue or money raised or received by the Federation, not being revenue or other money payable under the Constitution or, or any act of the National Assembly to any public fund of the Federation established for a specific shall be paid into and from, from one consolidated revenue. And that section, 80 subsection 1, it said no money, subsection 2 said no money shall be withdrawn from the consolidated revenue fund of the Federation except to meet expenditures that is charged upon the fund by the Constitution or where the issue of those money has been authorized by an appropriation act, supplementary appropriation are on an act passed in portions of section 81 of the constitution. There is no law. I think it's against that backdrop that the president now had to quickly write to the National Assembly to say, well, since the budget had not been passed, please add this, um, this request in the budget since it has been, you know, the money had been spent anyway, you know, but if you look at the constitution, there, there's basically no law. Mr. Oshoma believes the impeachment moved by the Senate may never see the light of day. If we're in senior societies, you know, the, this impeachment notice is even coming rather late. The death of one person in Nigeria is enough for the National Assembly to wake up and call on Mr. President to ask him what is happening, not to talk of all the killings that have happened in, take January for example, from January till date, you know. So you, you saw how the National Assembly members all trooped to the hospital 
to visit one of theirs, Dino Melaye. I had expected that the National Assembly members also would all troop out to visit you know, victims or, or, or uh, families of uh, disease in Benue, in Taraba, in Boronu, and, and, and these places to give a sense of belonging. And then to now come down to your question on impeachment notice. Yes, it's one of the ways that they have, um, you, you know, they used to negotiate in government, like we see. We saw it during Obasanjo's tenure, you know, even the senator was impeached over issues like, you remember Okadibo? Uh, he was, um, uh, yes, the Senate president was impeached over, you know, crisis of uh, um, uh, trying to protect the Mr. President. But, you, you know, after that, we saw consistent um, Senate president who were able to hold, you know, the Senate properly. But with this, with what had happened now, coupled with insecurity, the heavy insecurity in the land, I think um, this, this is um, truly an impeachable offense. But even though the president is doing a damage control now, but uh, nothing, nothing um, will come out of it. There, the, there will be negotiations. There will be pat on the back. Don't do it again. This is the first time such notice, you know, is gaining, you know, popular, uh, you know, support, you know, in, in in Nigeria. And I think it also not necessarily because of the spendings, but largely because of the killings going on in Nigeria.